I'm willing to bet that today you're keeping score. Now, I don't know what you're keeping score of, but I'm willing to almost guarantee that you are keeping score. Maybe you are one of the people who know exactly the number of days that we've been, you know, homebound with the Safer at Home Act. Maybe you're one of the people who are keeping score of the number of Oreos that you've eaten or the number that you have left. Maybe you're keeping score of how many times your kids have said, I'm hungry. Is it time to eat yet? Can I go outside? Are you keeping score of the right things? Are you keeping score of the things that are going to impact your life when our current situation is over? When we are done with the fear and being afraid? Because what we do know and what we understand and that we have to accept, like it or not, is that the game is going to end. The game of you know quarantine or safer at home or shelter in place. The game of the current season that's in your life is going to end. Another reality that we must come to grips with is that there are going to be winners and losers. Now, the great news is that right now I would consider you, or I would urge you to consider the idea that maybe it's halftime. Maybe if you have been keeping score, you can say, I'm behind. I need to do something differently in this next half or this next part of the game to come out victorious. If you haven't been keeping score of the right thing, Maybe now's the time for you to start measuring because as the saying goes, you can't improve what you don't measure. Now I'm not in, you know, any way suggesting that you need to keep score tally of everything that's happening in your life. I am strongly suggesting that you keep score of the right things so that you can know which adjustments you need to make today and tomorrow and the next day to come out victorious in the end, because we are sure that there is going to be an end. There is going to be a time when the buzzer sounds and there are going to be winners and losers. That's a reality. How can you best prepare yourself to come out on the winning side? Start keeping track of the score, make the proper adjustments, and then control what you can control. I love you. God loves you. There's nothing you can do about it. And until next time, don't be average. Be world renowned. Peace.